Welcome to TradersArmy.com, defending your right to build wealth and preserve capital for generations to come. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's edition of the Daily Market Commentary. I'm your host, Chuck Folkers, and I hope everybody had an absolutely amazing trading day yesterday, as we are going to do what we do each and every day, identifying potential breakouts and reversals. Yesterday was one of those days where it kind of felt like we were watching uh, a football game that scored uh, nothing to nothing. It was just not a whole lot of movement, not a whole lot of activity. So I really don't have much to cover uh, beyond what we talked about yesterday. You might want to use the words ditto because not much has changed. Um, I, as a matter of fact, I don't even know if I'm going to add really any new levels for the most part. And so on a day like we had yesterday where we chopped around, um, there's no real reason for me to add a whole bunch of new levels. I thought there could be a potential that we would break down for our next move. Um, you know, we could, you could theoretically look up here for a breakout to the upside, uh, to a new all-time high, and for price to rally. But not a whole lot there. Uh, in Nasdaq, same picture. Nasdaq could be your stronger of the two markets, and probably a better opportunity for that upside breakout if indeed we get it. Um, but look for basing in front of the level in both instances. But really, no no new demand levels down below uh, to lean on and to add to our to our chart. Crude oil looks very much the same, uh, chopping around kind of still sideways uh, in between areas. Crude oil, we are having a little bit more of a of a triangle shape, if you will, a um, little bit cleaner on the uh, on the wedge, and and so you you might get the the, the breakout from this piece as it's kind of uh, it's kind of pinching together. And then gold is continuing its move down. Um, we've not gotten any uh, any good opportunity to rally back up to supply. Uh, and so gold, it would look like this area here. So these are all potential breakout setups. But remember our rules on breakouts. Uh, my rules on breakouts say that I need three touches. Three touches. I need to have room to roam. And I need to have basing before the level. So that means that in each of these breakouts, we have a little bit more work to do before they're gonna they're, before they're gonna meet entries. But we are pretty close to them uh, in in uh, in all of the uh, all of the the pictures. So looking at our bond markets. So in bonds, yesterday we talked about this triangle pattern. We did get a bit of a breakdown from that triangle pattern. Now, if you didn't catch the breakdown, this one actually did give you an opportunity for a retest as it came back up into the level before then selling off. So that actually worked out pretty well. Uh, if you were able to catch that one, then that was a, a pretty good little trade. Now we looks to me like we're setting up for a uh, for a candle to candle short. If you want to go candle to candle, anytime I see these tweezer tops where I've got these equal wicks i'm interested in the next leg being uh, a move down and so these tweezer tops even though it's uh, a little bit of this rally back up here your next move should be a move to the downside so keep an eye on that one uh in the aussie yesterday we talked about a little breakdown in the aussie we did get our aussie breakdown it came down to our target level and then we bounced off of our target level and got a nice two to one move off of that zone so um you know, price hit that zone. We hit it. Now I think we're going to break through it the second time around. So keep an eye on the uh, on 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 prices continuing to fall. We've got another little level down here where price may get a little rally off of that. Uh, in the euro, the euro, uh, nothing new has been added to our euro levels as I've got supply above, demand below, and we're not near. We're not. We are not anywhere near either one of those. So I'm still being patient and sitting on the sidelines. Uh, Canadian dollar is getting a bit closer. Uh, looks a lot like our the, the Aussie tweezer tops we just talked about here just a few hours ago. Uh, but if this one rallies up, uh, we can then we could then lean on this as a potential reversal point. So keep an eye on that one for a reversal point. Uh, Great British pound and Japanese yen. Uh, now the Japanese the pound we did have a little 15 minute supply level that got blown right through. Uh, that one uh, that one we hit it and went right through it before then reversing and coming back down. So unfortunately that was a little bit of a stop out. 
And so, uh, and the Japanese yen is still in between our zones, nothing new added there. So today, yesterday was really one of those days where it was just a pretty boring day, not a whole lot of, uh, of entries, but a lot of things setting up. So it's kind of like a chess match. If you think of the markets like a chess match, oftentimes you're, you're, you're spending time just moving your pieces around the board to set up for your eventual move. And I feel like yesterday was one of those days. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a better opportunity to uh, allow prices or the market really to to set itself up for the next eventual move. And these are typically when big moves occur. So keep an eye, be patient, wait for price to come into your level, uh, and don't try to go off and, uh, and be a hero, if you will, uh, but let price come to you. So that's all I have for today. If you guys have any questions, please make sure you send us an email, support at tradersarmy.com. Until tomorrow, everybody, I will talk to you soon. Later. <laughs>